Hello, students. We got this problem called the cheese lung. That sounds really weird. Here we go. Use the functions f of x equals negative 4x plus 3 and gx equals x squared plus 5. Find f negative 2 and g0. What? Oh, I know what's going on here. We need to put a negative 2 in here and then a 0 in here and then add the result. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So let's do f negative 2. You're going to equal a negative... 4x, oh, mess it up already, a negative 4 times negative 2, I'm not copying it down, I'm filling out numbers here, come on, dude, okay, and then a g of 0 is going to be a 0 squared plus 5, there you go, rewrite, it's all in the rewrite, try not to mess it up as bad as I did, here we go, plug it in negative 2, see what we get, Plug in a zero, see what we get. So we basically are doing two functions, and then that plus sign means we got to add the results of our function. So let's find them individually, and we'll hammer this out when we get there. One step at a time. Here we go. Negative four times a negative two plus a three is going to be an 11. Okay. Mental math. Zero squared is zero. Zero plus five is a five. Okay, so... Our f of negative 2 was 11. Our g of 0 was 5. 11 plus 5 is our final move. Don't trip at the finish line. You should get a 16. All right. Next move. Take f of 5 times g of negative 7. Okay, here we go. So we got to go f 5 equals negative 4 times the 5 plus a 3. And then we got to go g negative 7 equals, now careful, use brackets please, negative 7 squared. I guarantee you the number one mistake people are going to make over and over and over again is when you square a negative, you must use brackets. That's why I just always use brackets, even with the simple ones. I use brackets even with the simple ones just to make sure I don't make a simple mistake. Okay, it takes a split extra second of effort to use brackets. And that split extra second of effort will help you make fewer mistakes. So invest that short amount of time to make sure you do it right. Bracket negative seven squared. What was it again? It was plus five. There we go. 54. Okay. Again, I'll, I'll highlight this. I've, I've gone over this a handful of times, but I feel like it needs to be reiterated. Negative seven squared. That's negative 49. Brackets negative seven squared positive 49. There is a difference. This is the right way. This is the not right way. Don't do this anymore. Use brackets when you square your negatives. Thank you so much. All right, we got plugged in a 5. We got negative 17 times. We plugged in a negative 7. Negative 7 squared plus 5 was a 54. All right. Negative 17 times a 54. Let's see what we get here. Negative, holy potatoes. Negative 918. All right, we got them. Those are functions. Just uh, do some math with functions. I'm not, this isn't called a composite function or it's just uh, math with functions. Hey, look at this function, add it to that function. Hey, look at this function, multiply it times that function. All right, so function combinations, combination functions, something like that. Anyway, that was the cheese lung.